I have managed to make this the world's least restful vacation ever. <sighs> Day six. Uh, I actually cannot wait for this trip to be over. Leaving Las Vegas today, headed back to LA. It is seven in the morning. I checked the weather. The weather said it was currently in the low 80s. So I thought, oh, it'll be a nice, easier start than expected. Except as soon as I got outside, it was already in the 90s. And I'm hating life again. If I'm ever going to do a road trip again, well, it's, I don't completely take credit for the, the horribleness of the weather on this trip because uh, I planned it a few weeks in advance, which is unusual for me to begin with. I typically plan these trips at the very last minute. Uh, but I was planning to do this trip this week long, long ago, not knowing there was going to be a world-class record-setting heat wave this week. And that heat wave made this trip overall... Uh, I'm not going to say it wasn't worth it, because it was worth it. I had some awesome experiences. With it. But, oh my god. I, like, if, if I have a trip planned like this again in the future, and it ends up coinciding with a, another heat wave like this, I may well just cancel the trip. And now I've got to do a whole nother day of it. And the heat wave, like, man, makes me feel like there must be a god because there's no other way this kind of horrible coincidence could always happen, always happen. And yeah, I, yeah, I know, worse things could happen, but like, the heat wave started just in time for my trip, and it's ending on the day after my trip. And this sort of thing happens to me fairly regularly, like I'll plan a day trip, and oh, lo and behold, it's raining that day. What a surprise! Unfortunately, I haven't felt like I really got the Vegas experience on this trip, which, uh, coming, coming into it, I wasn't really uh, looking for the Vegas experience, I suppose. I've been going out of my way to have non-standard experiences and really enjoy different places and get to know them better while I have the opportunity to see them on my own on a road trip. Uh, so uh, when I was here, uh, as I mentioned in the previous video, I went and visited a guy who's a local, Vegas local, and we hung out in his town, which is off the beaten path, way on the outskirts of Vegas. Afterwards, when I got back to my hotel and I was looking at the strip and like looking at people having fun, I was like, oh, I was so tired, like there's no way, like, I walked down to the gambling area thinking, oh, I'll play a few games, but like I was so tired I just like sighed and went back up to my room. Now that the trip is over, I kind of wish I had taken some time out or, you know, managed to find the energy to go out and gamble a little bit. Not, not much, like I don't like going just like losing 500 bucks on a weekend of gambling, but... You know, go out and like spend 20 bucks on $5 blackjack and see what happens. Like, that's always fun. But, you know, or go out and have something nice to eat, go to a nice cocktail bar and get a nice cocktail, but just couldn't do it. Couldn't do it this trip. So now it's morning. Uh, like I said, it's already in the upper 90s. Humid. And I've got to do another five hours of this through Death Valley, so more of the same today and eventually I'll be home, and I cannot wait to be home. Although once I get home, I'm gonna have, what, one day to basically put all of my final preparations together for work, which I start on Friday. So I'm gonna have like 24 hours to get all my shit together for that. I have managed to make this the world's least restful vacation ever. And on top of all of that, I've got this, uh, that cable that I told you guys about in the previous episode that got chewed up in my chain when it fell out of my helmet for no apparent reason. Uh, I don't know how well it's going to hold. I sort of like bent it back into shape the best I could and jury rigged it so it'll hold on for a little while. I don't know how much of the trip it's going to survive. Uh, this may all end up getting cut short because uh, I may lose power to the camera midway. So we'll see how it goes. Oh God, what's that smell? 
So two things have surprised me on this trip so far. Uh, the first being the part of my body that hurts the most. The part of me that is hurting like nobody's business now is my ears from having earplugs in constantly and they hurt bad like it's distracting constantly while I'm riding. Uh, I am curious why that happens and if that happens to anyone else uh, because it's quite upsetting actually. Uh, the other thing that surprised me on this trip was the scenery, namely the greenery in the places that I drove through. Uh, Phoenix, quite bleak. Uh, Vegas, I think everybody knows what Vegas is like. Very barren desert area, hot as. Uh, Baker X Derek has better analogies for this than I do, but uh, really hot and uncomfortable and unpleasant to be in. That's dangerous. But every place else other than that, including Albuquerque, which surprised me, and Salt Lake City, which surprised me, there's tons of very lush greenery. Like, the whole trip I was in green forests and green plains and green fields and green shrubbery zones. I don't know what to call them. But, like, everything was so green and verdant and alive, it didn't strike me as very deserty. Like. I thought that the lands between Phoenix and Albuquerque would be like Phoenix and like the stereotypical Albuquerque, but it wasn't. It was green and lush and awesome. So that surprised me in a good way. I was very happy with that. I was very happy to have that experience of dri riding through there. Oh, jeez. Timing couldn't be better. I'm just starting to get hungry. Bike's getting a little thirsty, and we're just pulling into Baker. It's not too hot here yet. Hot enough to start being uncomfortable, but not so hot that uh, I feel endangered by the heat. So I'm going to fill up the bike, stop for lunch, drink a buttload of water, and then jump back on the freeway. I guess pretty typical stop, but uh, atypical in that. The timing is so good this time. I have decided I'm going to stop at the Mad Greek, which is a somewhat famous restaurant here in Baker. It's uh, Baker's like the main stopping off point. It's like roughly halfway between LA and Vegas. And when people stop here, you know, there's not too many places to eat. There's like cookie cutter shops like Arby's, Denny's, Carl's Jr., Jack in the Box, as you can see. Uh, Mad Greek is the one spot that gives Baker a lot of its character, like that is Baker. It's like the Mad Greek and this one gas station that's across the street from it. And of course this world famous, well this jerky spot's actually pretty good and that's sort of famous. And then this world famous giant thermometer, which is telling me that it's 99 degrees out. But, yeah, you can see how chewed up it is. I think it got knocked around like on the sprocket and stuff. It was in that neighborhood down there anyways. So yeah, see how much battery I've got left because that's probably all I'm going to have in terms of power to record on the rest of the way. <sighs> Alright, all gassed up. I've made the decision, a difficult decision, not to wear earplugs for the rest of the trip. So my hearing's going to get beat up a little bit for the last half of this leg, but I can't wear those earplugs anymore. It's, it's really painful. It's one of the, actually, I would say it's one of the most painful things I've ever experienced in my life. And I've had, like, surgeries and stuff, like surgery recovery. Like, I'd rather recover from surgery than have to wear those earplugs for another 200 miles. All right, now, as I said, literally, we're just going to cross the street and we'll be at the Mad Greek. Just finished lunch at the Mad Greek. As predicted, it was delicious. Really hit the spot. They make a decent gyro here. And I have stuffed my jacket full of ice again. Also, it's not as hot as it was yesterday. In Vegas, it was like 120 something. Here, it is only 102. And where I'm headed, 
it is going to be in the 90s and I think around my hometown where I'm headed it's even down in the 80s so it's not going to be quite as bad. being on a bike even though it's hot in California we can do this so good to be back in California where we can do this shit my cramp buster just fell off yeah. oh well home again home again I'm going to go ahead and say that wraps up this video and with it the Colorado series. Hope you guys have had a decent time following along. This is Motor Merc. Signing out.